Hey, welcome to a new episode of Princella's Real World. I'm your girl, Princella. If this is your first time and you like real world, real news, and real views, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any content. And make sure you leave a comment because I do want to know what you have to say. Now, today we're going to be continuing the abortion series and we are on episode number six and today's episode is actually showing you further what it looks like for people who are on the bottom to make decisions and showing you that forcing them to pay child support or to have more children is not going to stop their behavior and so I'm going to show you what it actually looks like. No further ado, here we go. Hey, I don't want no more. Apparently 22 is now enough for Orlando Shaw. Don't want no more kids, I want to be fixed. Uh, That's his choice and no one at the Davidson County Juvenile Court is going to object. What we're looking for is to come up with a solution to have parents be financially responsible for their children. Magistrate Scott Rosenberg knows that would be good for both the children and the taxpayers. When Shaw doesn't pay, the state has to help support his kids. Consider $142 per child in temporary assistance and another 200 or so in food stamps. Multiply that total by 22 kids and the state pays more than $7,000 each month. So how on earth does a man in his early 30s explain fathering nearly two dozen children with more than 13 women? The only way to find out is to ask, that's what we did, listen. I love my kids and I can care less what anybody think about it. Are you able to pay child support? I can't pay no child support right now. They know I can't pay them no child support right now. How do you father to that many children with that many women? It's hard to be in more than one place at once, isn't it? Don't say it. Don't pick them up. You got to have it. You got to have it worked out. What about contraception? Was that just not an option for you? Uh, I was young, ambitious. I was, I was just young and ambitious and I loved women. Hey, you can't knock no man for loving women. Ladies like it? The ladies love me. They don't like me. They love me. The ladies love me. They don't like me. You like the idea of having that many children out there that you father. Is that it? Yeah, Sean Lewis lives on. My family stay strong. I make sure we'll be here for years and years. A man in Tennessee has 30 children with 11 different women, and he is 33 years old. You're done. I'm, yeah, I'm done. I was saying I'm done. What made you decide that? I didn't intend to have this many. It just happened. It just happened, he says. No attempt tonight, a deadbeat dad with 25 kids. Some of the mothers are getting child support, if you want to call it that, because it only amounts to a dollar and change every month. Mothers of his children. Last time I went to juvenile court trying to see how come the payments are so low, the number was at 25. Turnage has at least 25 kids, and some of their 15-plus mothers say he pays them pocket change in child support. What were you getting? I only got like $6, $9. $1.26. Uh, the women say the child support stopped altogether this year, while a picture of the 48-year-old popped up on Facebook, him posing with a stack of $100 bills. The last time I saw him, he was in a BMW. Yes, a lot of nice cars, different properties. But Turnage showed up to a November 1st court hearing wearing ragged pants and a paint-splattered sweatshirt, claiming to have nothing. You have no Turnage was in court accused of driving on a suspended license. A judge suspended it in July because he owes child support and skipped a juvenile court hearing. Well, I was kind of hoping that he did show up, but he didn't. Tara Smith was there that day. Court officials said he owed her $27,000. And another woman also in court, $36,000 in child support. Tara's 15-year-old son, DeAndre, also came along, hoping to get a glimpse of a father he hasn't seen since he was 7 years old. What do you remember? No, he just came by. He just drove by and said hello? He just blew the horn, I guess. And you still remember that all of these years later? Yeah, ma'am. Since then, DeAndre says his father is nowhere to be found. Turnage is difficult to find, something family attorney Miles Mason calls being off the grid. You're not going to find it in Google, but professional deadbeat. On record, Turnage only has one property under his name, this burnt-down house on the south side of Memphis. This is a major story. You see, backstage, 
is a man named Darren. Darren is about to begin a journey that only a handful of the guests on this show have ever done. You see, Darren is rumored to have 20 children. <laughs> Darren, in the case of 26-year-old Brittany, Darren, you are the father. In the case of 22-year-old Deshaun, Darren, you are the father. Tykera, Darren, you are the father. Mr. Smith, well, how many children do you have? Your Honor, I got 12 sons, and I, I, I got, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got 12 sons, and I have 15 daughters. I have 27 all together. Father, no sex, my man. You know, if a girl, you know, you should get having a baby, kind of baby, that's on her. You know, I'm not gonna stop my pleasures because of another woman. What about birth control? What about uh, condom? Uh, girls don't like them things. They don't like them things. You know, I'll tell you to take them things off. They figure that you saying that they filthy or they dirty or something. Which he has never developed. He dropped out of high school at 16 and spent two years in the job corps. He was 23 when he and Alice had their first child. Timothy does not support any of his children. H how many children do you have? Six. <laughs> he fathered those six children by four women. He also had two more children by two other women, but one died in infancy and the other was aborted. We asked him about the birth of his first surviving child. That's kind of a funny experience because, like, me and a girl was just messing around, right? And she was going with somebody else. She used to be an old girlfriend of mine. She managed to get popped up by me. Okay, that's the second baby. The third was... Mustafa. Mustafa. He was the third. That was by another lady? Mrs. Ward. Yes, I go see him every now and then. How old is he now? He's five. I'm not mistaken. Five or four, even now. And then the fourth one was. Simone. I don't. I only saw her twice. Two times. What happened to her? It's a family problem. You know, the, the father don't want me to see the, the mother and all that. You know, so I got tired of running behind her and uh, found me someone else. I didn't have to sweat it because I guess the father was taking care of them anyway, so. How does it feel to have those? Right? No, kids. Kids, go on. Well, you get to see, um, if it ain't one thing you've done, you... <laughs> like artwork, for instance. You look at your art, you say, this is something that I've done. Just like the carpentry, it's something that you've done. You can see what you've done. If, if anything, if you don't do nothing, you can see something, you know, what your life was, you know, what it was to you. So the kids are sort of artwork? Well, not really, but you can, um, like they might grow up to be doctors or actors, you know. And you can say, look, that's my boy, or that's my girl, you know? Whereas, you know, there's some people that can't have children at all. Does it make you feel bad that you can't support your kids? Yes. How do they make it? Where do they, where do they get the money? Well, the majority of them, the mother's on welfare, and welfare gives them the stipend for the month. So what I'm not doing, the, the government does. What would happen if the government didn't? This <laughs> would be a big disaster, I guess, because you can't give something that you don't have. 
In order to give, you got to have for yourself. You see, people out there watching are going to say, why didn't he think about that before he brought six kids into the world? Well, mother had a choice. She could have had an abortion, or she could have kept the child. She just she decided whether she wanted to have the child, so therefore, I guess it's not sweating her. I mean, it's not bothering. You think it's her fault if she gets pregnant? Well, I mean, you fought her. Fought. Well, maybe, maybe not. I just say, mama, baby, papa, maybe. You know what I mean? So many women, so many children. Do you ever think that maybe you shouldn't do it? Unless, yeah, unless unless you can be sure you don't have a kid? Oh, not really, because I'm highly sexed. But I have uh, ways of cooling myself down. You know, because like when you're dealing with one female and you're not dealing with another female, having sex with her too much is bad. So you have to like, you know, set a schedule when you should do it and when you should not. You seem to break your schedule sometimes. Well, like most women say, you're a baby maker. I just got strong sperm. <laughs> Would you have had these kids if you'd thought about them in advance? No. All were an accident. Yeah, you can say that. Were you just having a good time? <laughs> yeah, a lovely time. I enjoyed myself. And you didn't think about marrying any of these women except the first one, the first girl? Yes. Well, I'm going to marry Alice. Sandra. Oh, yes. We're going to get married. Do you love Sandra? Yeah. Yes. A lot. Great deal. Does she love you? Go crazy about me. And tell me, why don't you get married? Well, see, I'm old-fashioned. I want a big wedding. That's that. And uh, my uncles and my aunts, you know, they all had their little tuxedos, and I'm going to have mine, too. I thought you were going to say to me, because I can't afford to at the moment. Oh, no, that ain't it. Because I'm going to find me something. I'm going to get something. You see, I'm strong in that spot. I'm when? find something. Never. I keep on trying. I don't never give up. Okay. No woman can catch the gingerbread man. He has nine kids, five baby mothers. I love my kids, Your Honor. Love them enough to take care of them, too, I'm That's sure. That's why I changed into the gingerbread man, so if I could do something positive, take care of my kids. Gingerbread man sound like you're trying to run from your kids. <laughs> no, Your Honor. I'm in college. I do spiritual stuff, so there's no way I can get in trouble do nothing illegal, Your Honor. How are you providing for nine kids? Your Honor, it's hard. It's, it's real hard, Your Honor. It's real hard. But why are you producing if you didn't know how you were going to provide for them? Um, you allergic to latex? <laughs> No, Your Honor. Um, and then after the first, after the first couple, and you saw you were struggling financially then and couldn't provide for them, you should have been using some type of contraceptive. You producing nine kids? Who's taking care of them? Um, you don't even know. Who's taking care of them? Well, um, I take care of them when I got the money, and when I don't got the money, it's really not too much I can do. But you work? Well, uh, right now I know. I well, then you never have the money. Well, where did you work last? Um, I worked last, um, I don't even remember, Your Honor. Right. I, right you, now, you have worked for so long, you don't even remember. Right you now, should be right, ashamed of yourself. Right now, Your Honor, I receive, um, Social Security, so. For what? From, um, uh, the, the Z, you, can, you don't even know. You done made up something that you done told the, uh, <laughs> the doctors to write you out a Social Security, uh, request for. You should be ashamed of yourself. Nine kids don't remember the last time you even worked. Well, I am trying to do some positive about that. Uh, I don't want to hear that sob story. I'm trying to turn my life around. I'm trying to do something positive. It'd be different if you didn't have nine kids. I might buy that. You I come in here and have, don't even remember the last time you worked. But I do got my own record label. With all I don't want to hear about no record label. The record label doesn't give you enough money to take care of those kids. I can get my own record label. I can go in the back right now, fill out some paperwork, tell somebody to give me a tape recorder right in the back, start singing, say, I got a record label. So you no. don't have anything. I sold 10,000 copies um, out the trunk. I, I'm not how much there. did you get from those 10,000 copies? Oh, we probably got, we sold them at 10,000 copies, we probably got like somewhere near 10,000, something like, like that. And how much of that money did your kids get? Honestly, I broke all my baby mamas off something. What does that mean? Broke them off something. I, how many different mothers? 
I'm just trying to get better, y'all. You know, you're not better until you're taking care of all nine of those children. You haven't turned nothing around. Come here talking about you turning your life around. Now, you, now this lady saying you ain't going to even pay her rent, utilities, and cell phone bill. Let me hear uh, from you about this rent and cell phone bill. Jay is here also. And we also have five other men who have multiple children with different women. Nathaniel. Stand up. How many children? 28. How many women? 16. Terrence? Four. Four? Children. With? Two different women. Yeah. Ryan? Mm -hmm. uh, almost five children. With four almost kids. five. Yes, now talk to me about an almost five. <laughs> I have another baby due November 22nd. So four children. Four children. How many mothers? Four different women. Four different women. And you got a baby on the way. OK. Huh. And John? Uh, six baby mothers, 11 children. And Jumani? I have six children with four different women. Four different women. Yes, ma'am. Now, here's what I want us to get. That these men, collectively, have 87 children. That includes Jay. With 50 different women. That is 137 people who are impacted by choices and decisions that you've made. No heat, no judgment. I am the proud father of 14 children. And after today, I officially have 15 kids. My, my, my. What a shame. 336 children out of just 16 guys. Now the funny thing is, well, it's not even funny, but the sad thing is, is I didn't even put three guys in there. I left three out. And the reason that I left those three out is because I felt like the picture was painted with the examples I have. But I have a friend on Facebook who reached out to me to inform me that his father fathered 26 children. I know someone personally who knows, who has a friend who fathered nine. Mm -hmm. Then I have someone else that I know whose father fathered 15. So I left those out. And I posted in one of the, the clips, Newton's first law of inertia. And it states that a body in motion stays in motion until it is acted upon by an external force. What does that mean? Because this, this works in physics. Okay, this is a law in physics, but is uh, also a law because understand, humans are matter. We are matter. We are matter. So we are a body. A, a human will continue to do things they want to do until something stops them from doing it. The male is allowed to do or act in that way until something stops these people on the bottom and forces them to stop they're not going to stop they're going to keep going now if we want to talk about just numbers for just people on the bottom outside of just gender and the male, I didn't even add the chick with the 15 kids that said somebody got to be responsible. Somebody got to pay. You know who I'm talking about. This chick right here. Somebody needs to pay for all my yeah. children. And mine and Gary, all our suffering, all our pain. Somebody needs to be held accountable and they need to pay. See, I didn't even add that. Okay. Notice 
how even though she has 15 children, that did not make her move from the bottom of Maslow's hierarchy up to self-actualization. It didn't force her to go there. What she stayed on the bottom. And the poorer people to stay, the, the more poor people are, the more sex they're going to have. The more the more they are able to live for free, the more sex they're going to have, the more children they're going to produce. Okay. And this is reality. It's sh I just showed it to you right here. But if you like this commentary, if you like this kind of thing, reality, real world, to get a better understanding of what's going on around you, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content. And make sure you leave a comment in the comment section so that way I know what your thoughts are because I surely love to hear them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.